Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. If you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we will go straight over to those charts. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin on the 4 hour first, as you can see. Um, well, potentially looking like we're still in the descending triangle. We obviously had a, uh, a Bitcoin style um, scam wick, first the downside and then to the upside. Um, yeah, in true in true Bitcoin fashion, um, we are starting to drift back up again. So I mean, realistically, this trend line um, I think is pretty is pretty key now, um, and it will probably be coming in um, around ten thousand three hundred now um, by the time we we potentially get up there. So uh, if we can get up and close and hold hold and close above ten thousand three hundred, um, I wouldn't necessarily still say. Um, that's it we're going up now and we're reversing this this downtrend um, all I would then say is that the um, descending triangle is not what we are in um, and we are basically in a sort of box formation at the low and as you guys know I do much prefer box formations I do prefer like, like basically just a, an area um that we trade that we trade in which is why we have lots of horizontals and lots of levels and not quite as much um basically diagonals um so yeah um that's kind of what we're looking at there um let's have a look at the 12 hour on the daily see if we can see anything anything of note anything particularly interesting there um not much really again just on the higher time frames is just looking like a a um bear flag but as as we know bitcoin is especially um prone for bet um, for bar patterns and bear flags and bull flags to basically not necessarily play out as you would expect and actually reverse the other way um so yeah we'll have to we will have to bear that in mind um stock markets looking to make a little bit of a bounce this morning um as you can see here um the level we had drawn in um basically looked like it was almost hit to the tick um that we drew in as our next target level um i just extended this line um yesterday um to basically give us a level and yeah that's when the s p basically were hit and we bounced back off so um i mean um the target is clearly going to be back to the top of the range um so it gives us more more room to the upside but then it's a case of um do we come down and make a higher low um or do we come down and make a lower low um that will be the name of the game um or do we just keep blasting our way up which um i mean there's always the risk there's always going risk non non-technical um factors um that can come into the market such as some sort of intervention or some or something uh, obviously we've got to be aware got to be aware of that um the dollar index also as you can see um on the four hour um i mean realistically um you would expect us to come and hit the next level now that we've now that we've clearly broken and held above here above these highs here um but if we are getting rejected here um if we are getting rejected here um then this could look like a swing failure pattern um above this level um and then if we do start to come back down take this level out again to the downside um that could actually um that could actually accelerate us to the downside basically in quite a quite an emphatic fashion um that's kind of what happens with um swing failure patterns you're going to get like a big move in the opposite direction um but that obviously is not happening until it has happened until it happens and for the time being um this has to be still be the target up here um and then um yeah then it's a case of how do we how do we react with this level um do we take it out do we get rejected from there or, or what happens but yeah i would be i would be watching um for because i am a macro um, and fundamentally bearish of of the dollar um i am looking for this um this potentially to come back down below this level and then and then yeah make 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 a beeline <laughs> make a beeline potentially even this would be an original uh the first target um around the around the 92 and a half um, and then yeah, then we'll see what happens there. We will see. We'll have, we'll have to keep an eye on that. And um, we will actually have a look at Euro Euro USD because it is basically um, a, um, a very similar a similar asset um, on the basis that the DXY is is, um, is composed a lot of the Euro. Um, because so obviously when this goes up, that that in, implies obviously the dollar is going down, and this goes down implies the dollar going up. So I mean, do we look like we're having a break? A breakdown from this level here well 
again it's the similar sort of we've got this horizontal level um this horizontal level has obviously come off some um some nines so um based on price action we've have had now um i would potentially be tempted to move it down a little bit to which will take us back to where we are now but i i won't do that but we'll just be aware of the fact that we have sort of got a rectangle at the high here um we haven't really made a lower low i mean these are basically so far as the the, the larger time frame trend not trend but just large time frame roughly the same level this is obviously our our low below but obviously we've got high 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 and high high um so are we going to trade in within this box are we going to trade um basically with a uh, a broadening a basic a broadening of the range um, and then move back to the upside potentially potentially but clearly if we do hold and start to trade lower um, this will be our next level um, and obviously taking out that level will clearly lead to um, more downside and if we have a look at the daily um, you can see on the daily obviously looking a bit more droopy on the daily but again you can see it's got to take out some levels here um, for us to then really start to make a move down we are below the daily 21 first time in a while but um, day 20 has obviously been moving up very aggressively, so um, it wasn't, wasn't going to take too much of sideways consolidation to get us below it. But um, yeah, that is the that is the euro US dollar. Um, back over to Bitcoin, and we will have a look at those moment uh, stochastics to see if they are gonna gonna give us a helping hand. I mean, four hours turn back up, which is um, clearly useful um, for the trend. Tw 10 hour is now looking to start to make more progress to the upside which is good and 12 hour is just about turning over from a very low base so if the 12 hour gets going 10 hour has got going 4 hour keeps resuming upwards and the daily um, also gets going to the upside then we will we will basically um, be getting a move up and that move would probably get us through 10,600 and then it would be a case of um, what I think will be a major resistance area 11,000 um at eleven thousand in much the same way sort of twelve thousand is a bit of a psych psychological level if we basically get bought up as we are at the moment from ten thousand that's a psychological level um the eleven thousand which will be the midpoint of that range and also well a triple o not a double o triple o i guess it's not even a triple o it's four o's isn't it <laughs> um the eleven thousand um well no it is a triple o eleven thousand and that's it though yeah well what, what is it with me but yeah anyway you, you understand what i mean the eleven thousand will become a psychological level of rejection um so i think then we would just play out eleven thousand to ten thousand six hundred and then decide literally i don't really have a necessarily um firm view we could then break out below it we could break out upside um my, my bias would be to the upside um especially if it got up there and we're trading this area um just just down to the macro trend and my fundamental views on the dollar um, but obviously we'll have to see what happens because the dollar could be turning around here i can't i can't ignore the fact that the dollar index could be looking at a bit of a retrace but um i mean again i, do, I don't i don't think it is is what is happening and if you want to draw another one another trend line in here um i mean that looks pretty nice there doesn't it guys that does look like a nice trend line um that does look like a nice trend line um and are we at that trend line yes indeed we are so um we are at a point where we could um very um nicely get rejected and forced down um similarly if we do get over and hold over we get above this level here and hold over here so we're in this zone here then yeah i mean then i would be look i would be looking for a um the daily 200 really to suck price up there and that would be devastating for stock markets bitcoin um everything um so yeah something to keep an eye on um so that is it really guys um again we're in a sort of um a sort of um waiting limbo here um are we going to break down make 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 a big move down or are we going to um well just trade more sideways to up um slowly regain that confidence in the market um and yeah see what can happen obviously a lot will depend on stocks um a lot will depend on stocks um as you can see um stocks um trying to make a little bit of a bounce here um trying to make a little bit of a bounce so can they get a continuation can they keep moving up we, we will have to see um so that is it guys remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys later on today